intriguing stories and shorter and shorter news cycles, it is far too easy to lose track of seditious actions and treasonous behavior as these instances and episodes become more and more commonplace. At this point, the GOP has abandoned democracy on countless levels, but it would be hard to find a more obvious and abhorrent example than the Texas Attorney General's lawsuit to have election results in Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin thrown out. 17 additional Republican state attorneys general supported the suit, as did 126 Republican members of the United States House of Representatives and five Republican senators, including the incumbent Georgia Republican senators who supported having their own states invalidated. These individuals need to be held accountable for their extraordinary acts of sedition against the American people and the government of the United States of America as per the Sedition Act of 1798. The following state's attorneys general committed to the fraudulent and seditious lawsuit filed to challenge the fair and legal election results in the state of Wisconsin. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, who filed the suit on behalf of the state of Texas. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, who organized the amicus curiae brief in support of the lawsuit, which was signed by the following treasonous state attorneys general. Steve Marshall of Alabama, Leslie Rutledge of Arkansas, Ashley Moody of Florida, Curtis T. Hill Jr. of Indiana, Derek Schmidt of Kansas, Jeff Landry of Louisiana, Lynn Fitch of Mississippi, Austin Knudsen, Montana, Douglas J. Peterson, Nebraska, Wayne Stenehib, North Dakota, Mike Hunter, Oklahoma, Alan Wilson, South Carolina, Jason Ravensborg, South Dakota, Herbert H. Slattery III of Tennessee, Sean D. Rays, Utah, and Patrick Morrissey, West Virginia. And these seditious members of the House of Representatives, the state of Alabama, Representative Bradley Byrne, 1st Congressional District, Representative Mike Rogers, 3rd Congressional District, Representative Robert Aderholt, 4th Congressional District, Representative Mo Brooks, 5th Congressional District, Representative Gary Palmer, 6th Congressional District, the State of Arizona, Representative Andy Biggs, 5th Congressional District, Representative Debbie Lesko, 8th Congressional District, the State of Arkansas, Representative Rick Crawford, 1st Congressional District, Representative Bruce Westerman, 4th Congressional District, the State of California, Representative Doug LaMalfa, 1st Congressional District, Representative Tom McClintock, 4th Congressional District, Representative Kevin McCarthy, 23rd Congressional District, Representative Ken Calvert, 42nd Congressional District, the State of Colorado, Representative Ken Buck, 4th Congressional District, Representative Doug Lamborn, 5th Congressional District. The following seditious congressman from the state of Florida, Representative Matt Gates of Florida's 1st Congressional District, Representative Neil P. Dunn of Florida's 2nd Congressional District, Representative Ted S. Yoho of Florida's 3rd Congressional District, Representative John Rutherford of Florida's 4th Congressional District, Representative Michael Waltz of Florida's 6th Congressional District, Representative Bill Posey of Florida's 8th Congressional District, Representative Daniel Webster of Florida's 11th Congressional District, Representative Bill Bilarakis of Florida's 12th Congressional District, Representative Ross Spano of Florida's 15th Congressional District, Representative W. Gregory Stude of Florida's 17th Congressional District. Representative Mario Diaz Ballard of Florida's 25th Congressional mm -hmm. District. Mm -hmm. The following seditious congressmen of the state of Georgia, 
Representative Earl L. Buddy Carter of Florida's 1st Congressional District. Representative Drew Ferguson of Georgia's 3rd Congressional District. Representative Austin Scott of Georgia's 8th Congressional District. Representative Doug Collins of Georgia's 9th Congressional District. Jake. Representative Jody Geese of Georgia's 10th Congressional District. Representative Barry Loudermilk of Georgia's 11th Congressional District. Representative Rick W. Allen of Georgia's 12th Congressional District. The following seditious congressman of the state of, Ohio, of Idaho. Representative Russ Fulcher of Idaho's 1st Congressional District. Representative Mike Simpson of Idaho's 2nd Congressional District. From the state of Illinois, Rep. Mike Boss of the 12th Congressional District. And Rep. Darren LaHood of Illinois' 18th Congressional District. In the state of Indiana, Representative Jackie Walorski of Indiana's 2nd Congressional District. Representative Jim Banks of the 3rd Congressional District. Representative James R. Baird of the 4th Congressional District. Representative Greg Pence of the 6th Congressional District. And Rep. Trey Hollingsworth of the 9th Congressional District. In the state of Iowa, Representative Steve King of Iowa's 4th Boo! Congressional District. In the state of Kansas, Representative Roger Marshall of the 1st Congressional District. Representative Ron Estes of Kansas's 4th. State of Louisiana, Representative Steve Scalise of the 1st Congressional District. Representative Clay Higgins of the 3rd Congressional District. Representative Mike Johnson of Louisiana's 4th Congressional District. And Representative Ralph Abraham of the 5th Congressional District. In the state of Maryland, Representative Andy Harris of the 1st Congressional District. In the state of Michigan, Representative Jack Bergman of the 1st Congressional District. Representative Bill Huzenga of Michigan's 2nd Congressional District. Representative John Molinar of Michigan's 4th Congressional District. And Representative Tim Waldberg of the 7th Congressional District. And in the state of Minnesota, Representative Jim Hagedorn of Minnesota's 1st Congressional. Representative Tom Emer of Minnesota's 6th Congressional District and Representative Pete Stauber of Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. In memory of the Honorable Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> the following are a slate of seditious representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives. From the state of Mississippi, Representative Trent Kelly, Representative Michael Guest, Representative Stephen Palazzo. From the state of Missouri, Representative Ann Wagner, Representative Blaine Lutmeyer, Representative Vicki Hartzler, Representative Sam Graves, Representative Billy Long, and Representative Jason Smith. From the state of Montana, Representative Greg Gianforte. From the state of Nebraska, Representative Jeff Fortenberry, Representative Adrian Smith. From the state of New Jersey, Representative Jeff Van Drew. Yeah. From the state of New York, Representative Lee Zeldin. Boo! Representative Elise Stefanik. Boo! And from the state of North Carolina, Representative Gregory Murphy, Representative Virginia Fox, Boo. Representative Mark Walker, Representative David Rouser, Representative Richard Hudson, Representative Dan Bishop, and Representative Ted Budd. From the great state of Ohio, the following representatives committed treason by signing on to this lawsuit. Representative Brad Wenstrup, Representative Jim Jordan, who, li who likes to turn a blind eye to pedophiles. Representative Robert E. Latta, Representative Bill Johnson, Representative Bob Gibbs, from the state of Oklahoma, Kevin Hearn, Representative Mark Wayne Mullen, from the Commonwealth Wealth of Pennsylvania, my hometown, Rep. Dan Muser, Rep. Scott Perry, Rep. Fred Keller, Rep. John Joyce, Rep. Guy Rushenthaler, Rep. Glenn Thompson, 
Rep. Mike Kelly. From the state of South Carolina, Rep. Joe Wilson. Boo! Rep. Jeff Duncan. Rep. Rep. William Timmons. Rep. Ralph Norman. Rep. Tom Rice. From the state of Tennessee, Representative Tim Burchett, Second Congressional District. Representative Chuck Fleischman, Third Congressional District. Representative Scott Desjardins, Fourth Congressional Whoa. District. Representative John Rose, Sixth Congressional District. Representative Mark Green, Seventh Congressional District. Representative David Kostoff, Eighth Congressional District. From the state of Texas. Whoa. Representative Louis Gomert, First Whoa. Congressional Whoa. District. Dumbest man in America. Representative Dan Crenshaw, Second Congressional District. Same Representative man. Lance Gooden, Third, Fifth Congressional District. Representative Ron Wright, Sixth Congressional District. Representative Kevin Brady, 8th Congressional District. Representative Mike Conaway, 11th Congressional District. Oh. That's a lot of Texans. Representative Bill Flores, 17th Congressional District. Representative Randy Weber, 14th Congressional District. Representative Jody Arrington, 19th Congressional District. Representative Kenny Marchant, 24th Congressional District. Representative Roger Williams, 25th Congressional District. Representative Michael Cloud, 27th Congressional District. Representative Brian Babin, 36th Congressional District. The Commonwealth of Virginia, Representative Rob Whitman of the 1st Congressional District. Representative Ben Klein, rhymes with swine, of the 6th Congressional District. Representative Morgan Griffith of the 9th Congressional District, where I was born and raised, and I am ashamed to call him a fellow Virginian. The state of Washington, Representative Dan Newhouse of the 4th Congressional District. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers of the 5th Congressional District. The state of West Virginia. Representative Alex X. Mooney of the 2nd Congressional District, where they should know better than to vote against their own interests. Representative Carol D. Miller of West Virginia's 3rd Congressional District. The state of Wisconsin. Representative Tom Tiffany, who acts more like a Kmart of the 7th Congressional District. And the following five United States Senators also violated their oath of office in supporting these attacks on the Constitution of the United States of America. Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, who failed his constituents. Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri. Traitor. Senator Lindsey Graham Cracker of South Carolina. Traitor. Horrible traitor. Senator Ted Cruz. It rhymes with ooze, it rhymes with lose. And of course, he's misrepresenting the fine people of Texas. Senator Mike Lee of Utah. And finally, to round out the seditious 150, the traitor in chief, the most seditious of them all, Donald J. Trump, the criminal that occupies this White House, the worst president in the history of this republic.
Traitor! 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 These miscreants need to be held accountable for their extraordinary acts of sedition against the government of the United States of America as per the Sedition Act of 1798. We call on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to reschedule the opening date of the 117th Congress to January 22nd, 2021 and refuse to seat the seditious 126 members of the 116th Congress who joined in the Texas lawsuit, instead convening a Patriots Congress. Traitors! Traitors! Don't seat them! We call on Vice President-elect Kamala Harris Woo! to remember that the Vice President is always President of the Senate and may exercise that power at any and all times. We call on all Democratic and independent senators to boycott the scheduled January 3rd, 2021 opening date of the Senate, thus denying the GOP a quorum and therefore disallowing them from doing any business until after the results of the Georgia runoff elections are tallied and certified. We call on President-elect Joe Biden to give his full support to all of these legal and ethical exercises of constitutional authority and accountability. These are what our Democratic leaders need to do. But Uncle Sam wants you to call your Democratic senators and make these demands. Uncle Sam wants you to call Speaker Pelosi's office and demand that she refuse to seat these 126 seditious Congress people. Uncle Sam wants you to call Senate Minority Leader Schumer and demand that the Democratic senators deny Mitch McConnell a quorum. Uncle Sam wants you to demand that the Vice President-elect truly preside over the Senate after inauguration. Uncle Sam wants you to stand up for the Constitution. Yeah! yeah!